2022 is going to be a pivotal year and probably the last full year that we would have to get properly into position. Although physical gold and silver have enduring qualities that most other investments don't, we all want the best price possible. It's natural, and any good consumer will consider the timing of their purchase decisions. This is a question almost every investor asks before executing. Even if I get a good price now, can I get a better price later? Before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update. Let's get started. If we allow Wall Street, central banks, and governments to control our wealth, well, frankly, it was taken from us from the day from the moment we were born. So we don't think it's a very good idea. And now, what do the feds tell us in their latest financial stability report that the risks are growing? Every time a new report comes out about inflation or inflation expectations or whatever, any level of inflation in different areas, it was a surprise. They expected better and it turned out to be worse. It's a shock. So all these professional economists dictate and say, well, this is what we think is going to happen. The central banks say, this is what we mean because inflation has been transitory. Now it's persistent. So we have persistent inflation and monetary tightening. So in other words, that's what they're going to raise interest rates to decrease demand because the theory is, and that's going to slow down inflation and then risk asset valuations and a correction. And as we know, stocks flirt with a 20% correction. Basically, what we have is that the global central banks finance all this government spending. It's really very interesting. We are living in the most interesting times that I think we could have lived. We think the next crisis is very, very close. We have to make sure that whatever we're going to risk here, we're insured with gold here. The physical gold is in our possession and has no counterparty risk. But even intangible gold, like through ETFs, GLDs, or others, we don't own the underlying asset. We own a stake in an intangible trust. We all better make sure our portfolio, if we have those other intangibles, have physical gold on the other side to make sure it's well diversified. If we don't have it, we don't own it and our perception is irrelevant in court. We think that 2022 would be a pivotal year and probably the last full year that we would have to position ourselves properly. Time is the biggest challenge for anyone, but we can feel better knowing that our assets are positioned correctly. That's all for today. Let us know your views in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video before leaving. Thanks for watching.